Well, there's supposed to be a new Kevin Smith movie coming out. Maybe. I mean, I'm recording this in March because I wanted to get it done in advance due to the, all the other projects I have to do. Right now, it only says it's being released in 2019. This could be like Roma, and even though it says the new Jay and Silent Bob movie is coming out this year, it could be pushed back and not actually come out until the year and a half later. Whatever the case, I'm releasing this in September because, well, I don't have any other videos scheduled for this channel in September. But anyway, Kevin Smith. Most people probably wouldn't put him as one of their favorite directors. His movies are a bit simple, they're not the most well-made, and his best films are more appreciated for the dialogue and humor than the acting or directing, and yeah, they're kind of right, but Smith really was one of my biggest inspirations. And I think it's because his movies are so simple. He shows that you can do a lot with very little. He made his first film by maxing out his credit cards and was only able to do it because he had access to a convenience store. For me, Smith is an inspiration. And he makes movies that he wants to, writing all but one of the films he's directed. So no matter what you think about them, he makes movies because he loves making them. And he's become one of the main gods of geek culture. So yeah, I would consider Smith one of my favorite directors, and it's time to finally give him one of these director retrospectives. And we'll start with the 1994 indie film that became a pop culture staple, and is also one of my favorite movies of all time. Clerks is an example of a movie that came out at the perfect time. It was during that sort of 90s indie director resurgence with people like Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez, plus it was during the period where the Gen X generation was in their 20s. So it sort of struck that angsty, we're gonna be forgotten between the baby boomers and millennials mentality. It's also a movie that should not be as good as it is. It's very cheap, the acting is only just passable, and it doesn't have much plot. The bare minimum of a plot it has is this. A convenience store clerk named Dante, played by Brian O'Halloran, is called in on his day off. He spends his day having to deal with annoying customers, two stoners who sell weed outside the shop named Giant Silent Bob, and his slacker best friend who worked in a video store next door called Randall, played by Jeff Anderson. For the most part, it's just a day in the life of this one guy. He has his girlfriend, but an ex comes by. He has a hockey game, but gets called into work. One of his exes dies. A lot of stuff happens to him in this one day. And despite what some might just call a series of sketches, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I saw this like right as I was graduating high school and it blew my fucking mind. I felt like it was talking to me. I had never seen a movie that I related to so much, and I don't think the complaint that it doesn't have much of a plot is fair. It's a character movie, and your reaction to the film will probably depend on how much you like Dante. Personally, I love him. He's what makes this movie so relatable to me, because I am basically him. I have yet to see a character in cinema that reminds me of myself as much as Dante Hicks. He's instantly sympathetic because everyone keeps taking advantage of him, his boss calls him into work after someone calls out sick, promising to fill in for him around noon, but then leaves for Vermont. His best friend constantly gets him in trouble, and he just seems to keep having issues with his love life. He blames everyone else, and at first, I completely sided with him. However, as the film goes on, you realize Dante pretty much brings all of this on himself. He's the one who is causing drama in his love life by being so worried that his current girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. That's not only not trusting, it's kind of misogynist because he slept with plenty of women, and yet her sleep sleeping around before they got together is bad. Randall may have gotten him in trouble by selling cigarettes to a child, but it was Dante who told him to handle the counter while he made a phone call. He was the guy who decided to play hockey on the roof and go to a funeral, leaving the store closed. And because he's such a pushover and so high and mighty, he comes in on his day off when he really didn't have to. That last one really hits home for me. I was that guy, and in some ways, I still am but especially in high school. When I had my hospital kitchen job, I never called in sick. I almost always came in if they needed me, and I thought I was so important. I thought that if I wasn't there when they needed me, then the whole place would crash and burn and it would be all my fault. Despite the fact that almost everything I did there was wash pots. So when Randall makes his speech at the end about how Dante isn't as important as he thinks he is, that's one of my favorite movie speeches. Jesus, nobody twisted your arm to be here. You're here of your own volition. You like to think the weight of the world rests on your shoulder, like this place would fall apart if Dante wasn't here. Jesus, you overcompensate for having what's basically a monkey's job. You push fucking buttons. Anybody could waltz in here and do our jobs. You, you're so obsessed with making it seem so much more epic, so much more important than it really is. Christ, you work in a convenience store, Dante, and badly, I might add. So yeah, 
Dante and the fact that I find him so relatable is the main reason this is one of my favorite movies. But I still like a lot of the other stuff about it. Yes, it is obviously made on a small budget, but the only reason the movie was able to get made was that Smith worked at a store and then sold a bunch of his stuff and maxed out his credit cards. But there is kind of a charm to its low budget feel, and the acting feels natural, which gives the characters more chemistry. I love seeing Dante and Randall interact. Sure, they go off on tangents about random stuff, but it makes them more fun, and they perfectly sum up why Return of the Jedi was the weakest of the original Star Wars movies. The comedy is pretty tame compared to a lot of movies we'll see later from Smith. Many of the more over-the-top jokes are implied rather than shown, like the mess at the funeral home or the old man in the bathroom. The best jokes in this are the dialogue jokes, and again, the sort of amateur acting makes them work better than if they were done by professionals. I laugh a lot in this, and a lot of them are scenes that could easily be cut. Like the egg guy or Randall asking for porno movies in front of a kid. They technically don't need to be there, but they give the film personality. And that's the word. This movie has personality. And I don't think it's a poorly made film at all. Everything is shot well, the editing is good, it's for the most part well lit, and some parts feel more realistic because they aren't that well choreographed like the hockey scene or the scuffle between Dante and Randall. I want to make a movie like Clerks, and with how easy it is to make movies that just 20 years ago would have cost an entire college education, there's no reason I shouldn't try. It's funny, the dialogue is great, it's just so relatable. Even though this is 25 years old and was made to be a Gen X movie, I think it's also a good representation of the struggles for millennials as well. Maybe they would have to add in how much debt we are all in from college loans and how social media is making us all depressed, but other than that, it's pretty spot on. I love this movie, and for me, it's a 10 out of 10 film. Objectively, no, it's not one of the best films ever made, but few films have felt like they were directly talking to me more than this one. The characters are flawed, but sympathetic and it manages to tell a pretty engaging series of events with enough plot to wrap it all together in less than 90 minutes. If you haven't seen Clerks, I think you should, especially if you're in your mid-twenties. So I guess that's it for Clerks. Tomorrow we'll be going to the mall to see a movie that's actually in color. See you then.